It's March 2023 and Google are removing one of their best security tools in Chrome. If you're watching this as a short, then hit the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner. If you're watching this as the full video, then stick around. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so Google are removing one of their security tools. This was a malware scanner that used to detect unwanted software on your computer. Now, this is being removed on the current version. Now, it used to run automatically from time to time. Certainly, every so many days, I'd notice in the task manager that uh, it was running this system removal tool or a cleanup tool just to check my system to see if there was any malicious software or any software that could be causing problems or security risks on my machine. Saying that, apart from seeing it running in the background, I never actually saw it find anything. And this is one of the reasons why Google are now removing that tool because basically it's no longer needed. The security on Windows 10 and Windows 11 has become much, much better than it ever was. And uh, really, they're picking up very little with this toy. The cleanup tool was launched in 2015, and it was never really designed to be a comprehensive one. It was just supposed to find a handful of applications that could cause problems when you're browsing the internet. It was never meant to be a replacement as the full security suite that you have installed on your Windows PC. The cleanup tool that was provided with Google was actually powered by the highly respected German firm ESET, which I've got to say is a great antivirus. And therefore, I think it, it, it probably did do a great job. But in actual fact, I've got ESET as my main antivirus anyway on my computer. So that's probably why I never saw any detections from the Chrome cleanup tool probably because my antivirus, which was ESET anyway, got there first. But as I say, Google are saying about 0.06% of scans last month actually yielded any software concerns. So 0.06% of scans actually found anything. So really, there was very little point in having it, considering the processing power and the time it took to run the scans. I know certainly on older computers with hard disk drives, it did seem to take a lot of resources, certainly disk resources, and would slow other things down. So so this, I mean, the security tool was found in privacy and security. And when you run a, a check like I'm going to do now, click check now, OK, one of the things it is going to check for, there you go, is device software. So Chrome didn't find any harmful software on your computer. It was checked four minutes ago. So the other place you'd find it is in the reset and clean up there. And there you go. There's an option there. Clean up computer. You click on that and then click find and it would scan through your computer and check for any harmful software. Like I say, this was never designed as a replacement to your antivirus. It was just really there to complement it just in case your antivirus missed something. As you can see, it does take a little while and certainly on older computers, as I say, it did seem to take a lot of disk resources. Now, what can you do to bolster up your security in Google Chrome? Well, obviously the first thing is, is make sure that you've got an antivirus. Make sure your antivirus is still working. So have a look down by the clock and just see if you can find, if there's an arrow there, click on the arrow and see if you can find this shield. So there'll be a shield there. It'll be different colors if you're running Windows 10. It might well be a white shield on there. As you can see, mine's running Windows 11. It's a blue shield. And I've actually got an exclamation mark beside it, which is giving me something to check out. So I've had a look and everything seems to be ticked. I mean, the main thing you're really looking out for is to make sure that your virus and threat protection 
is ticked and showing no action needed. If it's not ticked, if there's a, a cross or an exclamation mark beside it, just click once on it and it will give you more details about what needs doing. If you've got an expired antivirus on there, i.e. you got it with your computer and it was only a 30 day trial, then just remove it. Go to the add remove programs or apps in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So click on the start button and just type the word apps. OK. And after a few moments, you should see there you go. Apps and features come up under best match. Click on that and just have a look through the list. Find the antivirus. I mean, I haven't actually got an antivirus installed on here because I'm using the built in Windows Defender. But just click on the little three dots beside just to the right of the column where your antivirus is installed and then click on uninstall if you've got it. Let's just try another one there because that's a bad example. Click on uninstall and just follow the instructions to uninstall. Restart your system and hopefully Windows Defender should kick in. That's if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11. So if Windows uh, Defender kicks in or Microsoft Defender as they call it now, or I think it might be even Microsoft antivirus. I can't remember the name of it. They keep changing it, but just click on the little arrow at the bottom if you've got one and just check you've got a shield there. Click on the shield and just make sure like mine, your virus and threat protection says no action needed. The next thing you could do is you could go into Google Chrome and just enhance the security a bit. Let's just go back into it. And if we go into the settings just up there in the top right hand corner, and settings again down there and then go into privacy and security there. And there's an option just down the bottom here. Let's just go down called security. So click on security. And it, at the moment, mine's set on standard protection. Now you could change that to enhanced protection and that gives you faster proactive protection against dangerous websites, downloads and extensions. Warns you about password breaches, requires browsing data to be sent to Google though. So it does give you a bit more protection and in some cases it could stop websites from loading. I mean, stand, standard protection is fine as long as you've got an antivirus. I mean, at the end of the day, Windows Defender or Microsoft Defender or Microsoft Security, the one that comes free with Windows 10 and 11 is much, much better than it ever was. So I don't think you're ever going to need to really take that to enhance protection, but you could give it a try, set it enhanced enhance protection. And if it gives you any problems, just take it back to standard protection. So there you go. Uh, your Google Chrome is going to become a little bit less secure in the next version. In actual fact, let's just have a look in. They might have even removed it. Yep, they've now removed it from mine. So uh, your, your antivirus, hopefully, though, should pick up the shortfall there. And like I say, if you wanted to, you could go into privacy and security and then down to protection and just go to security there and just turn on enhanced protection just by clicking the little white circle just to the left of that. I hope you enjoyed this guide. And if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Whilst you're here, hopefully you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CW Tech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.